Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for September 17th to September 23rd 2018 and I'm, I'm sorry it's going to be Tarot and Lenormand reading and uh, while I'm shuffling I want to remind you guys that this is a, a general reading for the star sign it is not your personal reading for personal readings you can go to my website which is written down below in the description of this video and there uh, you will find um, a full list of my services as well as the pricings of those services and um, as it is the end of the summer there is a, a summer end going sale which uh, adds 10 minutes on the top of your 30 minutes service so basically when you purchase 30 minutes they automatically become a 40 so yeah, that being said, going with the tarot spread first, this is going to be a four card tarot spread and now <clears throat> the first uh, card will be regarding the topic of your week, then we do have the second card that will be the challenges that you have to overcome, third card it is a about, no the second card is about the uh, core of the situation, excuse me, third card is about the challenges that you have to overcome and the last one it is about the guidance that you should adopt for the duration of the week. So let's see what you got here. Now the first card it is about the Tree of Wands so it does look like that this week will be quite productive and the Tree of Wands uh, in the grand scheme of things expresses that your efforts will uh, meet the results that you are initially anticipated so it will be a, a best thing that you kind of roll up your sleeves uh, here Tauruses and really push forward toward a agenda or enterprises activities you know or dating with specific people <clears throat> that you have as a goal. The, I, what I mean here is, is that you have to start working upon the challenging aspects of your life rather than to uh, attend to the ordinary routines that you are exerting until this very moment. So that week is going to be a, a week of growth and is going to be a week of improvement. But only if you have the not not the strength but the courage, you know, to throw yourself into a, a more, more challenging activities than you are anticipating until this very moment. And the second card here will be a, about the core of the situation. Now that will be the five of swords. So why the Three of Wands happens? It is because Five of Swords takes place and in that particular case this card points that you have already know what your capabilities are, where your limits lies and most likely you realize that you are working way below your, um, your capabilities, your limitations, you know, and um, and the properties that you can exert so you can uh, reach a, a greater height. So the Five of Swords here plays a, a very, very positive role. It does point, uh, you know, that you probably will realize that you can basically achieve much more. You can consolidate your relationship, you know, you can date with a person who is much better than the previous one, for example. Um, or that you can involve yourself into a specific project or you can apply for a specific job which is a, in a much better position than the previous or the current job that you are working right now. Basically these couple of cards here points that uh, you will start working um, or start you know performing above your current um, your current level of performance and you will that thus far will expand and sprue your personal capabilities and through that as well the um that will you know boost the expectations of your behalf and imminently the rewards for that bigger than before will start happening in your life however let's see what the challenges um uh, are about to say here what kind of a challenges you have to overcome nothing unexpected regarding the challenges I mean this what I'm what I'm trying to say here is that card to, it was to be expected because the ace of wands this points to uh, a, a chaotic environment and that is kind of uh, you know a natural progression because when you play it, when you involve yourself into bigger challenges, especially such a challenges in which you are not a hundred percent prepared for, 
either skill wise or knowledge wise it is of course um, you know to be expected that the environment will be a little bit more chaotic and you will search for an answers you will be uh, there will be a surprises all over the place here and there and uh, you will have to catch up you know quite quickly so that will be the challenge for you Tauruses you know um, attending to things that you have little clue about but uh, the, the ace of wands also points that you are quite capable to overcome such of a um, such of activities just to give you an example here let's say it's, it is a about dating and you are dating with a certain person that you didn't have the courage to date until this very moment but now you do and um, as soon as you start dating you know they are giving you a rough time you you can't you don't have the same control over the situation as you had before with the previous shooters that you have date with you know and that could make you a little bit uncertain that could make you a little bit confused as well you know and um, in a state where you lack confidence but the the ace of wands is a card pointing that you can learn very quickly therefore uh, you know you basically need to adapt yourself to the situation which is a little bit more chaotic right now so the challenge the real challenge here is not to give up just because you face a little bit of a woe at the very first initiative stage of the enterprise relationship you know dating process etc or a project at your job etc etc it is just remember this is a challenge and that challenge is meant to um, expand your personal capabilities therefore um, you know you will struggle a little bit but this struggling can and should be overcome and then the next card it is pointing here the um, the guidance that you should follow that is the knight of cups and there is only one thing that can be said about the knight of cups as a guidance it is about follow the dreams of your heart so if you like what you are doing here if you like uh the the end goal or kind of like you know the result that will be achieved regarding your um regarding your performance because remember here whatever performance you exert you will kind of face the same results all right so the results will be totally in sync with uh, with the efforts you uh, you incorporate into your activities so this card advises you to uh, to kind of analyze and be resigned regarding what you are after and do you really want it all right because this card here as a guidance asks you to only follow that which is a dream of your heart and uh, therefore Taurus says you should do this week only what you like to do and what you have to do should be set should be kind of like postponed if possible for the week that follows so the next week after 23rd of September 2018 and one more thing uh, one more thing about the Knights of Cups is that <coughs> nothing will be left on uh, to happen by a chance therefore uh, whatever you know efforts you put in this kind of result you are going to extract from it so if you hope that your project your relationship or your dating stage you know will resolve itself itself on its own accord simply ain't going to happen i mean you have to put the toils behind it so let's now see what the uh, Lenormand card has to say about it and that will be regarding a event that is going to happen that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right, let's cut them. So we do have the um, the maiden, which is represents a woman. Then we do have the stork, 
which represents delivery or a new beginning. And then we do have the book, which represents secret or it presents knowledge. So a, a woman will deliver you a, a specific knowledge or a, a secret. What that secret is going to be about or what the knowledge is going to be about, it does depend on your personal position in life and personal, um, you know, situation. So uh, this was your Tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, September 17th to September 23rd, 2018. Remember, Taurus says this is a general reading for your star sign. It is not your personal reading. So for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is written down below in the description of this video. And there you will find a full list of my services as well as the pricings for them. So that being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.